Hi everyone, it's Amisha here from LWA. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. In today's video, I am joined by my beautiful little mascot, Rocco. And we are going to be going through percentages, and in particular, percentage word problems. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, let's try question one. The cost of a hotel bill is 200 pounds. VAT at 17.5% has to be added to this bill. Find the VAT and the total bill. Okay, so the first thing I would do here is underline the key information. So we know the cost of a hotel bill is 200 pounds. So let's underline that. We know VAT is added at 17.5%. So that's definitely key information. And we know that has to be added to the bill. We need to find the VAT and the total bill. Right, 17.5%. How are we going to work that out? Well, I've got a really, really, really easy method. So let's give it a go. So we have 17.5%. Now, let's put the number over here, 200 pounds. The way I would recommend doing this is to work out 10%, 5%, and 2.5%. Okay, so how do we work out what 10% of 200 is? Well, we should all know that we just divide this number by 10. So 200 divided by 10 is 20 pounds. So you put the 20 pounds here. Now, how do we work out 5%? Well, we know that 10% is 20. So surely 5%, you just half the 20, and that will give you 10. Now, how do we work out 2.5%? Right, instead of wasting time trying to figure out what on earth we should do to answer this, let's just half it again. What's half of five? Two and a half. So what's half of 10? Five. Great. Now, why have I done this? Let's see. What does 10, five, and 2.5 add up to? Let's have a look. Okay. 10 plus five is 15. 15 plus two is 17. And the half, 17 and a half percent. So, surely these totals here are 17.5%. So we have 20 plus 10, which is 30, plus 5, which is 35. And there we have the VAT worked out, 35. But is that our answer? Now, this is the bit where you need to read over the question again carefully. The question says VAT at 17.5% has to be added to this bill. So do not rush through and put that 35 as your answer. You need to get back to your total, total bill here, which is 200. And we need to add on our VAT of 35. And that will give you 235 pounds. Okay. Let's try question two. Some children hold a bake sale for a local charity and raise 90 pounds. 10% comes from selling biscuits. 50% of the remaining money comes from selling chocolate cakes. How much is made from selling chocolate cakes? Right, so like the last question, let's underline the key information. So we know that the money raised is 90 pounds. We know 10% comes from selling biscuits. And we know 50% of the remaining money comes from selling chocolate cakes. We need to find out how much is made from selling chocolate cakes. Right, so first things first, let's write the total amount here. We know that 10% comes from selling biscuits. So if I write biscuits over here, And let's find out 10% of 90. 
So like the question before, to work out 10% of something, you just divide the amount by 10. So 90 divided by 10 is nine. Right, but that's not where we stop. So we know 10% of 90 is nine. So we know that nine pounds was made for the, for the selling biscuits. Okay, so what we now need to do is figure out the next part of the question. Now, this is very important. It says 50% of the remaining money comes from selling chocolate cakes. Now, a common mistake here is to work out 50% of 90 pounds, but that is not right. We need to work out 50% of the remaining money. So if nine pounds is used for selling biscuits, the remaining money will just be 90 takeaway nine. And that will give you 81 pounds. Right. Now we need to work out 50% of 81 pounds. Now there are two ways to do this. So there is an option to work out 10% of 81 and then two times that by five to work out 50%. But I think there is a quicker way to do this. So 50% is 50 out of 100. Now, if we simplify this fraction by crossing the zero from here and the zero from here, we've got five tenths. And that simplifies to one half. So we know that to work out 50% of 81, we just need to work out one half of 81. So all that means is that we need to divide this number by two. So let's do bus stop division. So we'll put the 81 over here and we will divide that by two. Right, so two times what makes eight? Well, we know it's four. So we put a four over here. Hmm, two times what makes one? Now that doesn't work, does it? So we put a zero here. But to make it easier, what I always do is extend the line and make this dot zero. Okay, so two times we put a zero there because this doesn't work. And let's use this as a remainder and put the one over here. Two times what makes 10? Hmm, two times five. So we'll put the five here and don't forget to add the decimal point at the top as well. So we know the answer now. How much is made from selling chocolate cakes? This is the answer, 40 pounds and 50 pence. Right, now it's your go. This is your question. Rocco leaves the house with 120 pounds in his wallet after his puppy birthday party. He spends 25% of it on treats and 10% of the rest on a toy. How much money does Rocco have left? Right, remember to underline the key information. Take your time and post your answers in the comment box below. Good luck. That's all for today. I hope you found this video useful. See you again next week.